Hecla's Lucky Friday Silver Mine is located in the Pacific Northwest United States, in the middle of one of history's most prolific silver-producing areas. Here we're heading toward North Idaho and the little town of Mullen. Lucky Friday has easy access right off Interstate 90, and in 2011 we produced 3 million ounces of silver here. As we drop under the surface, what you're seeing is the main Lucky Friday vein on the right, with the silver shaft in blue dropping down to 6,200 feet. The expansion area is about a mile to the north of the main vein, and all of our production now comes from here. The ore is trucked over on the 5900 level to the silver shaft and brought to the surface and processed through the Lucky Friday mill. This mine has a long future ahead of it. By 2007, we knew the vein continued to go deeper. This area portrays the current resource outline. Here's the 2011 resource outline with the high-grade areas shown in red. So now we know that not only does the vein go deeper, but it gets richer at depth. And we believe production can reach 5 million ounces of silver annually when this area is developed. But how do we get to it? We are sinking a new shaft to about 8,800 feet, allowing us to hoist the ore up the new number 4 shaft, truck it over to the silver shaft, and then up to the surface. There is much more potential here, and we've implemented an aggressive exploration program on several fronts. In this plan view here, we can see the relationship between the old Star Morning Mine and where we're mining now at Lucky Friday, separated by two faults and about 4,000 feet. We're now thinking they may be connected. If so, we've opened up a huge new area of potential mineralization called the You Like 30 Vein Trend, connecting Lucky Friday's 30 Vein and the Star's You Like Vein. Both surface and underground drill holes into this green hatched area have intercepted mineralization, and we are planning to follow up with more drilling into this area from underground. The current resource outline at Lucky Friday is also open to the east, where there is potential to expand the boundaries of the resource. We'll put several drill holes into this area to define the true extent of the resource to the east. A third area of exploration is up into the gap area, a 2,500-foot gap between where we're currently mining and historic production near the surface. We're drilling some holes up into that gap from the 4050 level of the mine to follow up on some long holes we drilled from the surface. In addition to the Lucky Friday, our drilling programs from the surface and other data compilation have identified underground resources at the star morning and noonday deposits, shown in red and gold here. We also launched a mineability study evaluating potential mining development of the star upper country veins above the current water level at the 2500 level in the mine. Because of the limited depth of surface drill holes in 2011, we rehabilitated the star 2000 level, and we launched an aggressive underground drilling program aimed at defining resources in as many as eight separate veins. We're very excited about this work and believe our exploration program will continue to add resources to the Star Morning Mine. We're also evaluating a potential connection between the Lucky Friday and Star Morning Mines to provide for operational synergies, enhanced ventilation, and exploration drilling platforms. But of course, there's even more. Hecla has about a 25-square-mile land position, which includes some of the historically richest silver trends on Earth, We've begun a generative exploration program where we've developed 3D computer models of all the historic mines. Even as old as this district is, there is much of it that has not been touched with these modern exploration techniques. With more than 320 million ounces of silver mined over the past 130 years, we believe there's still more to be found.